bright duty. Every student matters. Reptilia. They are also cold blooded organisms. They have scales on their body. They breathe through lungs because they live on land. The heart is three chambered but there is one exception that is crocodile. Crocodile has a four chambered heart. They reproduce by laying eggs with a tough covering that is how they differ from amphibians. They also reproduce by laying eggs but amphibians they, uh, they lay egg without any outer hard covering so they have to lay eggs in water but in reptiles the eggs have hard outer covering so they do not need to go to uh, water for laying eggs they can lay eggs on land. Examples are snakes, turtles, lizards, crocodiles they all belong to reptiles. The next class is aves. So, all the birds they belong to this category. They are warm blooded. So, even during the winters their body temperature is maintained that is why they are warm blooded. Their four limbs or the uh, front two limbs they are actually modified for flight. So, they are modified into wings so which helps them to fly. Their bones are hollow. So, how does it help? When the bones are hollow their body becomes lighter. So, it is easy for them to fly. Body is covered with feathers. So, outside they do not have mucus glands or sweat glands, they have feathers. Then respiration is through lungs. They have four chambered heart and they lay, reproduction is by laying eggs. So, crow, ostrich, sparrow, all the birds you see around, they belong to the this class that is aves. Some, there are certain uh, or, birds which cannot fly like ostrich and kiwi but they do but since they have all other features or aves that is why we group them in together into this class sorry next last is the mammals they are also warm blooded animals that is even during winters or summers whatever the outside temperature may be their body temperature is maintained they have a four chambered heart skin is covered with hair sweat glands and oil glands which regulates the body temperature. They give birth to young ones. This is a unique feature. They do not lay eggs. They give birth to young ones. They have memory glands for the production of milk to nourish their young ones. The female body, they have memory glands which produces milk. So, they feed and take care of the young ones till they become a little grown up. There are few exceptions. Mammals like platypus. It has all the features of mammals but it lays eggs. One more exception is kangaroos. They give birth to underdeveloped young ones. So, they have to carry it in their abdominal pouch for some time. So, you must have seen, seen a kangaroo holding the young baby in the pouch. So, because they give birth, although they give birth to young one, but the baby is underdeveloped. So, till the time it is fully developed, the mother holds the baby in the abdominal pouch. So, humans, rat, cat, all the land animals you see around, they belong to mammals. All those animals which feed their young ones belong to the mammals. So, this there is one exception, this bat, you will see it can fly, the four limbs are uh, wings. But it belongs to mammals, first reason, the body is not covered with feathers, the wings are skinny, alright. And second is, they give birth to young ones. So, there are with few exceptions, the whale also. Although it is aquatic, but it is categorized under the class mammals. Why? Because it gives birth to the young ones and it also takes care of it, feeds the, feeds the young ones. That is why looking at these more important characteristics, we group together into mammals. So, platypus which lays egg or the whales which live in water or the bats which can fly, they all are actually mammals. So, with this we complete our classification of animalia.